This is a new office chair and whenever I get a new chair that is swivelly, you just have to do this. It's part of the rules. Hello. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new office space. Look at this unfamiliar background to you guys. So recently my office got a little bit of an upgrade and it's my new favorite space in my apartment ever. A lot of you guys have been asking me for an updated tour since the last time I did an apartment slash office tour was when I first moved in and I thought I would do that for you guys and show you what has changed and how it has been helping me be a lot more productive. I know some of you guys may have seen a few glimpses here and there of the new space on my other social medias on Instagram and my Twitch streams but if you didn't know this new space was a part of a virtual makeover from the Make My Space work team. Alexander Gator and the whole team did such an amazing job and they did it all virtually so you can see how the makeover came to life over on their channel. I'll be sure to link the, the whole video down below as well as in the cards up there somewhere. But in that video, we didn't really get to do a full tour. So I wanted to show you guys a nice detailed walkthrough and also talk a little bit about why I needed things to be changed a little. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and we will get started with the tour. Okay, so I'm currently standing in my kitchen and if you guys have seen my full apartment tour video, which I'll link, uh, then you'll know the layout of my apartment. It's kind of like the kitchen is the walkway to the main area. So this will kind of give you a good overall idea of what it looks like when you first walk in. So when you walk in, here is the overview of the entire space. I love it so, so much. As you can tell, a lot of things have changed. So first off, the desk is of course in the corner, which is the biggest change. My desk has kind of moved to multiple different locations over the years since I've moved in to this place, which has been almost three years now. It actually initially was kind of in this side of the apartment where the dining room table is now. Eventually it moved to this wall, which I did on my own and we still had the old desk and then now, I have upgraded to this corner desk, which has been so life-changing. There's just so much desk space, which you guys know I do a lot of things from home. I film my videos, I draw, I design my products all on this desk. And before, I would have to say my desk was about this much thinner. And of course, I only had a straight desk. So I did so much from that miniature space and it was stressing me out a lot. That was another thing that was really important and one of the main reasons why this upgrade was definitely needed. Since I moved into this place three years ago, my business, my needs have changed so much. I mean, we started Shop Amanda H. Lee with all the products. Since then, I started streaming on Twitch, which requires a whole different type of computer and desk setup. The desk setup that I had three years ago, you know, it worked for me then, but since then I need so much more space and I think that's okay you know your space evolves a lot of people were mentioning the story girls because they were the ones who initially made over the space when I first moved in but we still kept so many elements from the sorry girls makeover like the wallpaper some of the furniture and I of course still love like my living room space area that is hasn't changed at all I just still love it but I think Alexandra did a good job of still keeping like what the sorry girls did decorations wise but making it more functional for me um i mean we still kept this like little mirror area and everything so this is the desk space game changer what i love the most is that i can kind of swivel from side to side depending on what i need i've kind of designated this area as like the drawing journaling anything to do with that area because you know i have my stationery here and also above so it's kind of like easy access and then this side is like my computer area so you see i have like my pc set up here um again as i mentioned a new thing for me is streaming on twitch i've been doing it a lot recently but that required a whole pc setup and a lot of new equipment that i did not have before so i have my pc down there and my dual monitor setup this is just on a dual monitor mount that i got from amazon i have like my mic setup the camera setup and when i'm streaming like my bullet journal weekly spreads on twitch this is exactly where i'll do it which is very convenient because 
I actually have the window right in front of me for natural front facing lighting. Before my desk was here. When I first started streaming, I tried streaming here. I also tried streaming in like the living room area. I even for a little bit tried streaming here, but you know, it was hard with the lighting and I didn't want to keep setting things up and putting them away. Now I can just kind of leave it as is turn on the stream, go live, and then just, you know, go back to my my business, which is really nice. So I do have like my Nintendo Switch back there and my controllers as well. Underneath, this is where the, the tech stuff is, the printer. I cannot tell you guys how annoying it has been. I know this is like a very particular problem to have. I used to have my printer on the ground for a while. I had it on top of my washing machine, which was probably not the safest, but it's just like so chunky and like I never have a space for it. I don't know where people put printers. They actually gave me this like printer stand, which I should put like paper. There's little shelves where you can put paper down there and it's really nice and accessible. I tried to do some cable management. I'm not an expert at it yet, but I would love to clean that up. I'm kind of new to this whole PC world. I know a lot of people are really intense about PCs and cable management, but I've been learning. My brother helped me set all of this up, so I really could not answer too many questions about it, unfortunately. One of the other things that I wanted was an upgrade in my office chair because the one that I had before was really, really cute and Definitely went with the aesthetic, but your girl has back issues. <laughs> it was definitely not ergonomic and for the amount of time that I sit in my chair, like editing videos or drawing or working, it was killing my back. Oh, it was so bad. So this is definitely a lot better for my back and it's been, you know, working for me. Again, we love the swivel. It's easy for me to switch. I definitely feel like a CEO when I sit in it. <laughs> That's kind of like the main desk area. Oh, down here we have some like layered rugs, which is really, really nice. I would have never picked this for me. You guys know typically I'm like very neutral black and white, but I really like like the cozy layered rug vibe. I know it's not for everyone, but what I think it does really nicely is it separates it from like the living room area. And something that I really wanted with this new office is that separation of like work and personal life. Since I do stay in my apartment on an embarrassing amount of time. Um, it's nice to separate that out and like when I walk into this little square, that's work mode and when I walk out of it, I can turn off my brain, which is really important and I've only now realized how important that is. So it's nice that it kind of has its own little cozy corner. Um, the other thing that was upgraded was these babies, which I love. This is like the main feature. Before this wall was actually just blank with the wallpaper, but I think it was such a nice touch to add this shelf space. It's a nice way for me to feature, you know, my stationery. I, you guys know I have a lot of it, um, but also functional because when I'm journaling down here, I can easily reach up for some washi tapes. So I'll kind of walk you through a little bit of each shelf. This is a quick walkthrough tour, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Um, I have a nice little quote that says life without dreaming is life without meaning. Some um, gel pens back here. These are like full sets. So um, I didn't put them in my stationary cubes that I have before. I kind of wanted to keep them here. This fake plant. Yes, this is fake. Uh, I have a lot of my own journals, the ones that I'm using, some blank ones. And then of course I have my washi tapes. Here I have the full Shop Amanda H. Lee collection of washi tapes. I also have like a bunch of samples that didn't make it, so I'm stocked up. And then in here is all of like my clips and everything that you guys see a lot. Just some cute little decorative things, more pens and stuff, pens and washi tapes all across. I'm not trying to plug my own washi tapes so hard, but I just have so many samples and um, versions of them. They naturally just end up spilling over into my collection. Each drawer is kind of organized by color, which is nice. <laughs> my little boba lamp, which is cute. And then up there, we have some more fake plants and pens and just vases, decorative things. And overall, I think it looks really cute. Oh, something that I wanna show you, I don't know if it'll show up in the daylight, but 
I set these up and so at nighttime this looks really cool but these are the mood Philips hue light bulbs and you can change the color I'll show you guys you can kind of change the color depending on what you want each light bulb is different and at night it just creates a nice vibey ambiance that I like to work in because I work at night sometimes. So I think that's everything in this location. The only other things on my desk, these are the two like main journals that I'm working with. So those are my two 2020 bullet journals and my pencil case with all my main supplies that I use on the daily. Moving over here, this is the same um, filing cabinet that used to be the legs of my desk. If you guys watched my old apartment tour, then you'll know that my desk used to be literally just an Ikea tabletop sitting on top of two of these guys, but I still needed the storage, so I kept this one. I'm trying to find another uh, sort of drawer unit that kind of can fit right underneath it because this one is a little bit too tall, so for now we're keeping it next to it, but you know, it's still fine. I also have my Google Home speaker right on top, which is great. I love to listen to music while I work and all of that. Then next to it, I have my lovely little stationary cart. I'm gonna link the video where I organized this cause I actually did a whole video where I reorganized my stationery and fit it all into this cart. So it's pretty much the same, but it's nice cause I can like roll it closer to me in the desk area when I'm streaming on Twitch or I'm journaling or if I'm filming videos and all of that. And then we have my little, my, I mean, not little, my big plant. <laughs> a lot of people ask me about my plant Honestly guys, I do not know how it survived this long because I am the worst with plants. This is, I believe this is a Dracaena fragrance is the name of the species. It's called a corn plant. Really low maintenance, highly recommend if you suck at taking care of plants like me, but I recently repotted it. It was getting a little slanted and she needed a fresh soil. So me and my friend, we did a little plant surgery and it's looking it's looking pretty healthy. Hopefully he keeps thriving for another three years because the fact that he is this big and tall is very impressive to me. Oh, I forgot to mention the new light, which looks like this. It is way higher up than the pendant light. Before there used to be a pendant light here because the dining room table used to be here, so it made a lot more sense. Um, but obviously since I moved my office to this area, it was kind of dangerous. The pendant light was like at head level. So if anyone taller than me came in, they would hit their head. So we got rid of that pendant light and put this higher up one, which I think actually makes the space look a lot taller. I know that these light bulbs look kind of ridiculous in this light fixture. Usually you're supposed to go for those like Edison style industrial light bulbs, but I really like having the Philips Hue light bulbs connected to my Google Home because I can turn on routines, kind of turn on or turn off whenever I ask them to. And I can also set up like specific lighting modes for when I'm filming, which is very, very helpful. Very, very extra, definitely not necessary, but I think we've established already that I'm extra. <laughs> All right, friends, so that was my quick little updated office tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new space. What do you guys think of it? I know it's short and sweet, but a lot of things were shown in the full makeover video. And if you've seen like my apartment tour and my other office tour, then I feel like a lot of the gaps can be filled in. So I didn't want to repeat myself too, too much, but I did just want to show you guys on my channel so that you wouldn't be confused when I film vlogs and other videos in this space. A lot of people on Instagram and stuff have been confused. They're like, girl, did you move? Like, where are you right now? No, did not move just in the new space and I love it. I It has been such a positive change in my life. I'm just someone who gets very affected by my work environment. So in my old space, I would just get unnecessarily stressed out more because things weren't working as efficiently as they could or there was just so much more clutter. And I know I'm really lucky to be able to upgrade my space like this and I don't take that for granted. I'm very, very thankful. Thankful to the Make My Space Work team. They did such a great job. I can't wait to film more videos and make more stuff for you guys from my little workstation. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next ones, which might be filmed in this location from now on, who knows, but keep doodling and have a great day. Bye everyone.